What's up, little nigga? What you doing out here, man? Why you got these little sandals on and shit out here, man? What's up with these jeans, man? Check this out, man. You on Bronhurst, man. What they call you, man? Thanksgiving. I mean, you Thanksgiving? What you eat all the dinner or something, fat boy? What's up, man? You got some money on you or something? Not really. Huh? You need some money? Man, what's up, man? You need to go change your clothes and shit, man. Get get it together, homie. You got a gun, man? You trying to make some money? Yeah. 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 Some trying to make some money? Here. Here, look at this. Go wash the corner. Here, wash the corner. Here. Go get you something to eat. Be careful. Go wash the corner, little nigga. All right. I guess it'd be best to introduce myself before I begin my story. My name is Hood, short for Husta, and yes, that is a birth given name, or at least the name I was given by my community. Now, my mother is my community, and my father was someone I met when I was 12 years old, someone I learned to love and hate. His name causes drama everywhere it's said, and his reputation can be summed up in one word, Victorious. You've even heard of his name, I bet. What's his name? His name is Crip. I was born and raised in a place and time where gangbanging was more than a color issue of red and blue. It was political, more so speaking of the race issue between blacks and whites. The blue is really for prison, and the red is really for the blood white people have shed by black hands. Now, my father taught me all these things, but he taught me the hard way by experience. However, like they say, the best way to teach a bird how to fly is to let him fall. I was born in the year 1976 on the west side of South Central Los Angeles, the Crenshaw District to be exact. Like the bird parable, I didn't really gain my life till I lost it. I did 10 years in the California Youth Authority from 1990 to the year 2000. Now, the California Youth Authority is much more worse than the state pen or prison because it's a facility that houses California's worst criminal, juveniles. But that's where my rebirth began. Now, jail taught me a lot, and I met a lot of real solid niggas in there. Some was homies, and some was not. So when I finally came home in 2000, I had a whole new program. I got together my crew and put some real shit together. Me, Cetrip, Westwood, the homie Tiny Knockout, and a few other homies became one hood unit. And we formalized a team that the police couldn't stop. This is my story. I came up with the concept about five years ago in 2005 when I was in the LA County Jail. I was laying in my cell and I was thinking to myself like, damn, this shit is like a motherfucking movie. It was like everything I had been going through for the past like five or ten years was like a movie. So I was like, fuck it, one day, one day I'm going to turn my life into a movie, one day. One day people would get a chance to see what I've been through, you know, and what my life turned out to be, you know, and that's where the concept hood really came from. In the next five years, in the next five years, Hustle Dive will be well known for shooting and directing and producing the best urban hood films you ever seen in your life. Creativity is based on my reality. Tapping into my creativity is just as simple as tapping into my reality. Yeah, I got some last words. Hood ain't just a movie. It's my reality. 